and this is our daily devotional series. We're going to read from Colossians today, chapter 3, verses 12 through 14. So listen now for the word of God. As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another. And if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other. Just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. So one of the ironies of this time of social distancing is that uh, we're still managing to sort of bump up against each other and cause uh, frustration and friction with one another. And I think that's happening in a lot of different ways. Uh, maybe with the people in our household is happening um, as we're kind of stepping all over each other and it's difficult to get away for personal time and we're just sort of in each other's space and that can make us lash out at one another. Or maybe what's causing us frustration right now is having to deal with a whole bunch of new technology as we uh, try to connect with one another in new ways. Uh, for some of us, this is the first experience using video conferencing software or FaceTime or live streams or, you know, whatever the technology is. And uh, we're having to learn it very quickly. And, you know, when issues or problems come up with it, uh, we're having to troubleshoot that without much of a knowledge base, and it just gets frustrating, and then we lash out and we blame others for, um, for that frustration. Or maybe where we're finding ourselves frustrated is uh, with our own selves. Uh, you know, we're having to balance all of these new priorities where uh, maybe we're working uh, remotely at home and we're trying to uh, suddenly homeschool our children and make sure they're getting all the physical activity they need. And we're also having to do all of our normal chores and, and get dinner on the table and, you know, just all the frustrations that, um, that kind of build up. And, uh, and a lot of times it feels like everyone else has that balance right and we're the only ones that don't. And then we start feeling frustrated with ourselves. And so I think this scripture we just read is a good reminder to clothe ourselves with love, to start with love, and to assume good about one another, to assume that we're all just uh, doing our best and, and trying to, um, you know, just, just make this into a positive experience. And it's a good reminder to just show some uh, grace and forgiveness when things don't go 100% correctly. And that definitely applies to other people, but it also applies to ourselves. Uh, when we you know, bump up against those problems and issues, um, instead of just getting frustrated with ourselves or getting frustrated with others, to just you know, have some humor about it, to laugh and to um, just keep perspective on what's really important and, and what's just details that we can let go. And above all, to just be reminded that, that God loves us, that even when we feel like we're not getting it all right, that uh, God loves us, that we are enough for God, that God um, sent his only son to die for us just as we are, um, and to just rest in that love and then to show it to one another as well. So take care of yourselves. Show grace and love to others and to yourself during this time. Thanks be to God. Amen.